January, sometime middle of January. What is it, the 15th today? And it's about 25 below. Oh, tires were frozen to the ground. The uh, patch doesn't want to operate. It's frozen closed. In here, I got the heated seats going and uh, about to head out to Michigan. So, I'm going down to meet up with Austin. I'm going to jump in the truck with him and we're going to roll out. So, it's going to be a fun trip. Cascade, found the Dutchman. Hey, All right, hey. what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Good to see you too. Tree vlog, day one. Day one. Day one, baby. Early in the morning. Yeah. Cold AF. Yeah, it's chilly. Chilly Hi. willy. All right, dude. First ever Selmore Tree Work handbook delivered in person. Awesome. Yeah. Can't wait to use it, bud. Yeah, man. Hey, I got one that's already opened. If you want to read that one, probably a good idea. I'm driving. <laughs> Tree Vlog, episode one, part one. We are somewhere in the UP of Michigan. Had to take a little uh, rest stop, the old Chris Station. If you're from uh, Upper Midwest, you know what time it is. Let's see here, where are we? I think we're almost to Marquette. Nigeuni, well, that's a UP name. Yep, just about to Marquette, about a half hour. Outside of town here, gonna grab a hotel, get a bite to eat, and uh, crash for the night. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to take a look at the grapple chipper. It's been a good road trip so far. We've been just chatting each other up, talking tree work and stuff. So Austin's a good dude. Excited to get to know him better and excited to work with him more. But uh, I gotta go take a leak, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, Austin, so I just handed you a copy of the Selmore Tree Work Handbook. First time you ever laid hands on it. What are your first impressions? I saw each individual breakdown being a tool and the book being a tool belt. So anytime I go sell work, I don't think it'd be a bad idea to read over that handbook quick because it's not that long and uh, study it, you know, understand that you're bringing value to your work and you're worth money and you're entitled to profit. The handbook has some pretty good tactics in there, or not tactics, we aren't we aren't tactically selling. We are offering our services and it just gives some really helpful points on how to connect with people, how to really find out what they need from us and uh, gives us the pointers we need to communicate that efficiently and effectively to sell more freaking tree work because that's what it's about. It's about selling tree work. So they get the sell more tree work handbook. It's free plus shipping, pay seven bucks. Plus, then they get a seven day free trial of the margin multiplier. What happens when they get to that page? What should they do? Well, when you get the free trial of the margin multiplier, freaking plug your shit in. Try, you know, try and work out, try and use it to, to determine your base cost and your, your profit margin and your base, you know, your base cost for the day to the customer. And, you know, day one when I got my free trial, that's what I did. And it, it spit out a number for me that actually made sense that I could go off of. So I would plug your stuff in right away and uh, start applying it right away, you know, get the best value out of it because that's what it's there for. It's it's a tool to add value to your service and give you confidence in your your numbers, you know, because we're all in a sense winging it until we have a platform to use and now we do. So where do they go to get all the best tree service tools and merch? Tree <laughs> Savages. Yep. Alright guys, so there you go. You heard it from Austin. That was his first impression of the Selmore handbook. He's been using the margin multiplier for like a couple months now. And uh, you know, so far he likes it. He speaks very highly of it. And I'm just really humbled by everything that he has to say about it. So grab a copy of the Selmore handbook. It's free. All you gotta do is pay the shipping. It's seven bucks. And then sign up for a free trial of the margin multiplier. You get it free for seven days. After that, it's 97 bucks a month. And if it doesn't help make you a hundred bucks uh, the first time you use it, then just call me and I'll refund you in full. So you, you're not you're not gonna even know that you're spending a hundred bucks a month when you start applying the margin multiplier. <laughs> you're gonna see your profits go up to whatever you set that margin at. You stand by your numbers and the confidence you get from knowing your numbers, it's gonna be easier to sell more work. And that hundred bucks, you're not gonna feel it. You're not gonna know about it. It's gonna come out of your
your bank account and it, I mean, come on, a tank of fuel uh, a week is hardly noticeable. So invest in the margin multiplier and get on board because our industry needs to be charging more, you know? We need to be getting what we're worth. Y'all aren't in it to break even every day. You're in it to freaking win. Give jobs to good people, give good work to good clients, and then you enjoy your freaking life. Yes. <laughs> you know? Who doesn't enjoy their life when you actually have money in your account at the end of the year? It's a freaking good time. Yeah. Okay, made it to Marquette. Made it to Marquette. Update, it's still butt cold. Probably like what, 10 below? The harbor's... No, it's like zero. It's, it's like zero. The harbor's frozen. Sweatshirt weather, So man. that's good. All right, we're going to see what these guys have to offer. Yeah. Give you guys an update here later. All right, so we're at the Hampton Marquette, a place that checks both boxes. One, they got an exercise bike. Two, they got a uh, continental breakfast, so we're good to go on that. Plus, they got a pool and a hot tub. That shit's bonus. Pretty decent little view. I want to show you guys the best part. Just got done off of like six hours of driving this morning. Actually, it was more than that. All, all morning driving. Finally got here. Chocolate chip cookies, but check this out. There's a little cord here. They're on a heater. These things are warm. How cool is that? All right, Austin's choice was Thai food. So we're at Thai House Kitchen. We're gonna see what they got in here. I searched the entire menu. It's about four pages thick here. Scoured this bad boy, only to settle on the ginger salmon. For a ginger. Ginger salmon. What you got, pineapple fried rice? Yum, looking delicious. All right, about to dive in. Thai kitchen, one to five. Ten. Ten. <laughs> really, really good. Fresh ginger salmon. That was the ticket. All right, let's go to the hotel, huh? It's time to let me go. Oh, you can download the key onto your phone. It's pretty fancy. Fancy. Feels like really like uh, Victorian kind of, but with like a modern. I feel like the structure is just like. It's like my grandmother's house. Yeah, like grandma's house. Yeah. Like elegant, but weird. Still kind of a little like plastic on the couch, you know? Oh, dude, you have to get one with one. So I saw a stripe on my right hip for solid, solid, straight stripe. You gotta get this right. Hey guys, I've been at my table since about 7 o'clock. It is currently. 10:13. I ain't about to lose it now. All right, Austin, did you hear that? Nope. He said he's not gonna lose the table. Tree vlog, day two, part day two. two. Heading on over to uh, our bridge called. Starts with an M. Starts with an M. I just call it the bridge, and all the Michigan people just nod their heads like we know what that is. We know what that is. <laughs> Seller, we are in. Where the hell are we? Petoskey. Petoskey, Michigan, and we're gonna have a look at his setup and have a look at his machine. So stay tuned.
day two, part three. We're doing a little uh, pro bono work for a family member. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I'd climb that, but we're gonna flop it. So. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, right there. Can't see it, it's behind this one, that one. We're gonna walk over there, line this bad boy up. Austin's gotta get a chew in, we get prepped. Where do you go to buy the most savage tree apparel? DunstanTreeService.com <laughs> Sav TreeSavages.com Flopped it today. Flopped it, and I got a battle scar. Battle scar. All right, Peter Gallery, how many stars? Ten! Yep. Woo! All right, I'll go with ten. Ten. <laughs> So you want me over here? All right. Yeah. All right, guys. It's Redbeard here with Dutchman Tree Service and Julie and Marty. Uh, we're here in northern Michigan. Came up here for a wood chipper. We had a tree we needed to take care of. Guys, how did it go? It went awesome. It was flawless. The tree came down right at the exact spot. Then they took and cleared out our path that we have a little path that we have through the woods. I mean, top notch. What do you have to say about Austin the Dutchman? Austin the Dutchman. Pretty he, awesome. Yeah. Pretty awesome. He's a smart guy. He knows his trees. He, he, yeah, you guys just said, you know, it's going here and boom. Yep, yep. That works. <laughs> Knowledgeable. Tree vlog, day three. Day part three. three. Ready Check to go home. Off. Tell these people where to go. TreeSavages.com and hit the subscribe button. Tell them. Hit the subscribe button. Bam.